Amid the three-year-long bordered standoff between nuclear power neighbors India and China, PM Modi and Xi Jinping will come face to face in the high-powered BRICS International Summit. Will Modi and Xi hold a one-on-one -on -one meeting on the sidelines of BRICS? Will the two leaders find a path to restore the status quo ante in Ladakh and defuse border tensions? What does India hope to achieve at the BRICS summit? Indian PM Modi reaches Johannesburg for the three-day 15th BRICS summit responding to the invitation from South African President Matavelo Cyril Ramaphosa. Holding bilateral meetings with participating leaders, this event marks the first in-person BRICS summit since 2019 and over 45 countries are coming together for the occasion. So what's on the agenda? Well, one of the hot topic is forging stronger collaboration in the Global South to tackle the Western dominance that often reigns over global institutions. The Global South has faced exploitation by the Western colonial powers in the past. India's leadership is vital for such a reshaping of the status quo of the Global South movement. On top of all this, there is speculation about Modi and Xi Jinping engaging in talks. Prime Minister schedule in terms of bilateral meetings, those leaders who would be present in South Africa is still being developed. But there is no confirmation yet. If they do meet, it would be their first dialogue since the border tension began in 2020. Indian Prime Minister Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping last crossed paths in November last year during a G20 dinner hosted by the Indonesian President Joko Widodo in Bali. When it comes to India and China, the two powerful Asian neighbours, their bilateral ties are being influenced by the unresolved border disputes in 2020. It was the first bloody border clash in decades, resulting in the loss of lives on both sides. Despite that, they are still part of several multinational groupings including G20, BRICS and SEO and have a lot of business together. The trade between India and China touched an all-time high of $135.98 billion in 2022, while New Delhi's trade deficit with Beijing crossed the $100 billion mark for the first time despite frosty bilateral relations. India's trade deficit with China accounts for 38-40% to 40 of the India's total merchandise trade deficit in the post-COVID era. However, the border situation is deteriorating since the 2020 Galwan Valley clashes and can't enter the talks. India and China held the 19th round of COPS Commander level talks in August, concentrating on resolving lingering issues in the standoff region of Devsang and Demshok. On July 24, National Security Advisor Ajit Doval met the top Chinese diplomat Wang Yi on the sidelines of a meeting of a BRICS meet in Johannesburg. Furthermore, talks about reducing dependency on the US dollar are buzzing. March 2023 in New Delhi, Alexander Bauerkog, deputy chairman of Russia's state Duma, said that Moscow is spearheading the development of a new currency, which is being targeted for cross-border trade among BRICS nations. India has so far kept a distance from the currency proposal. But many countries are seeking more financial independence due to the weaponization of the US dollar through sanctions and trade disputes. Interestingly, BRICS is also looking to grow its family. Over 40 countries are eyeing a BRICS membership, with nearly two dozen formally requesting admission, including Saudi Arabia, Iran, UAE, Argentina, Indonesia, Egypt and Ethiopia. However, BRICS has faced hurdles in becoming a global political and economic powerhouse due to internal divisions and shifting economic dynamics. Even China's once thriving economy is slowing, and Russia's involvement in the Ukraine conflict has led to its isolation.